video demonstrates how the whirly sheath is used uh, to cannulate the, the coronary sinus. First, the dilator and sheath are advanced into the subclavian vein over the wire. And then the sheath without the wire and without the dilator is advanced into the right ventricle. So this is a real life demonstration of it being advanced into the right ventricle. The braided core here is connected uh, to contrast and cleared and then is advanced into the sheath until the tip reaches the tip of the sheath as indicated by the black mark on the braided core. So you can see here we have the black mark on the braided core and when the black mark on the braided core reaches the hub then the tip of the braided core is at the tip of the sheath. So here we are doing the same thing. The braided core is fixed and the sheath is withdrawn over the braided core until about one centimeter of braided core is still exposed. So we're drawing back and you can see we just have about a centimeter or so of the uh, braided core. And so this is what it would look like under x-ray. And then we apply 30 degrees of counterclockwise torque and withdraw the braided core and sheath as a unit from the right ventricle until you get to the tricuspid annulus. So a little bit of counterclockwise torque and withdraw both pieces as a unit. So here you can see we've applied counterclockwise torque and we're withdrawing the braided core and sheath as a unit. Initially, we're in the right ventricle as indicated uh, by the PVCs. So we maintain some mild counterclockwise torque and keep bringing both pieces back to the unit until we get to the tricuspid <clears throat> annulus. And of course, the PVCs indicate that the braided core is still in the right ventricle. Once you get back to the, to the annulus, here we applied a little less counterclockwise torque um, as the braided core reaches the tricuspid annulus. And then once it reaches the tricuspid annulus, a little bit more counterclockwise torque will drop the tip into the coronary sinus. So you can see the tip dropped just a little bit. Um, and we apply a little bit of contrast to confirm that that is the CS. And then we advance the braided core a few millimeters to con and then confirm the position with full strength contrast, all the while maintaining counterclockwise torque. Once you get to this position, if you don't see any side branches uh, and there's no resistance, then you can advance the braided core with counterclockwise torque into the coronary sinus as illustrated here. So here we're advancing the braided core into the coronary sinus and dribble a little bit of contrast in to make sure that you're not in any side branches. And then once the braided core is deep in the coronary sinus, then the sheath uh, is advanced over the braided core. So here we are under fluoroscopy and we're advancing the sheath uh, over the braided core. And then once the sheath is in place, the braided core is removed. As such, and the CS is cannulated. Now occasionally, occasionally you do need a wire to advance in, but this is sort of the basic approach.